5.30, can't sleep, I got up early. Doesn't look like there's uh, many clouds that way, which is the way I'm going. But that way there, there's a, there's a couple of beautiful sunrise. Here and over there, it's not looking real pleasant. But anyway, so I'm sleeping on this last night and I was getting wet so I got a sheet, I carry a sheet and I put it over me just so if anything got wet it'd be the sheet and I'll be sleeping back. And I've pushed me pillar off the bed and where did it land? Right in that friggin' pool of water. So it's all wet and it's gonna take some bloody drying out and clean. All right, but yeah, other than that, a really good night's sleep. Not a bad little spot here at all. Hello again. So, look at that. <laughs> all them clouds are gone. Didn't put me wet weather gear on, and I thought it was going to be pouring today. What a good little spot. So there you go. You can camp on a table. You can fit. And it was comfortable. With me bed, I slept like a bloody log. Downtown for some breakfast if there's anything open, it's only quarter past six. Then on my way to Danilquin. A couple of stops on the way, probably Gundagai maybe. Yeah, but wow, that was a interesting night. Rained and friggin' wind. That's why I was getting wet. Uh, it's all part of the journey. Oh, well, let's uh, go. Pull into the Yas service station. Two reasons. One, two. Well, actually, a few. Petrol, food, and we went with the gear on. Check that out, what I'm riding in there. I checked the weather map and it said that there was not any clouds over that way. Crazy, isn't it? Bloody crazy. Well, I just had breakfast at McDonald's and stayed there for about an hour trying to decide whether to put my wet weather gear on or not and I did, yeah I did, it's just yeah not worth not having it on I can take my time, put it on, put it on properly and not get wet so this weather according to the bomb and the radars, there's no bloody clouds over there at all that's insane isn't it but anyway, doesn't matter. Right uh, on the way to Gundagai now. Just out of Gundagai, dog on the toggle box. Very quiet here, holy mackerel, there's no one here. This used to be just pumping this place. Well, there's a dog on the toggle box, but it's... Uh, it's the only thing here. The, uh, the shops, cafes closed down or shut. Oh, the, it's a server over there. It used to obviously do fuel, but it's closed since I've been here last. Wow. Coming into Gundagai, I don't think I've ever ridden through or driven through Gundagai. I've always just rode past. was wrong. Oh my god, what a big friggin' main street. Oh, a couple of cows there. A couple of nice old pubs. And almost time might attend right down the bottom end of that street. Almost time to take the GoPro off, I think. Today's Saturday. You think the, the main street would be pumping, but there's no one here. Historic Bridge, 100 metres. Well, I'm going to have to be going down there, aren't I? I'd free camp under that bloody horn in there if it was um, raining.
country going home. I think someone lives in there. Oh yeah, it is too. Private as a caretaker, so free campsite would not be open. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there it is. The old Rumble Bridge. Gee whiz. structure on sound <laughs> uh, you're not wrong there um, 1903 well wow. that's cool viewpoint of it from underneath it wow that hasn't got much life left in it at all well that's a nice old build wonder what that was old mill Wow. Tarkata. That's where we're at. Right now, so just off the... Oh, I don't know if it's a here more, but anyway, whatever road that was. A bit of a detour. Come in and have a look at this little village. Had a selfie in front of a pub for a while, so we'll get one. Oh no, it still works, still operates. Be bugger, eh? So, this place is called Holbrook. I wasn't going to do a blocky, but people I'm gonna go back to that bloody bakery that pie smelt really nice look at this old pub wow well, don't think that's in action anymore well oh, the bloody streets still going traffic lights here why would they have traffic lights there oh my god because it's a busy place IGA and what a 10 all in the one store maybe maybe not yes it is oh that's gold all right oh here's this submarine thing holy shit sticks Godfather HMAS Otway Well that's interesting isn't it? I wonder why it's here at Holbrook There's probably a bloody plaque to tell us But care fact is about bloody two So it's a good little find isn't it? Here and turn around. This is Glen Rowan. I was going out to Tenilquin, but the roads closed. Oh well, so they told me. I wasn't going to take the risk. Ned Kelly shit going on everywhere. And people everywhere. And there's the big Ned Kelly there. Self in front of that? Ah, uh, definitely. 
Okay, what a big day that was. I had all sorts of bloody crazy weather. Hot, cold, rain, storms, sleet, bad wind. Still got the bad wind. But so driving through or riding through Shepparton, I didn't get any videos because uh, it was pouring. So I took the GoPro off my head. So I am currently in Uchuka. Bit more of Uchuka. Nice cinema there. What's going here, huh? Gr Golden arches. I was gonna say green arches. Fucking hell, colour blind. How's it green arches? So this is the main street of Yuchuka. <coughs> Holy shit, look at the sandbags there. Jeez, they've come back quick, not like Lismore. Lismore's still got, I would say, 70% of the shop's still empty. Wow, a lot of people out. I just seen a houseboat down here, I thought I'd come down and check it out. So a few weeks ago they wouldn't have been real bloody happy, would they, with the water? Wow, well, she's still flowing fairly well. So this is a nice little place. I believe it's I think it's Kareng or something like that. I'm um, looking for a shop. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, so the last oh, hour of riding, there was so much flood water lying around, and I wanted to stop and put the GoPro on, but it was raining, then it wasn't, then it was, and it was just too hard basket. So, I didn't video. Now, I found myself a little hidey hole right up here, somewhere. Go around the corner here, just nice and quiet, nice and quiet, and park in here. Definitely not going to rev the bike or anything. I don't know why I'm whispering. No one can hear me. Uh, but uh, that's what I'll do is I'll camp on the ground there. I'm liking this ground camping at the moment. Just camp right there. Well, so this is my makeshift campsite. Here I've put this tarp up. But we've got a bit of a problem. be a long night they're coming out of there look at them they're everywhere and they're big I put a bit of ant sand about so I won't unpack the sleep bag until oh look he's coming for me until I'm going to bed hopefully they're all pissed off by then top of the morning to you what a beautiful morning look at that last night it was windy and rained nearly all night but everything's dry and I changed my setup. I had that tarp there, but it was flapping about. And the ants, they were sort of stressing me out a bit, so I didn't want to get bitten. So I put the tent up and slept in the tent. Protection first. That was a good spot. Free. So I go downtown, get some bricky, and then head to Patchwallick. 
bloody cold this morning. I reckon it's about 10 degrees. And it is... Oh shit, it's 8. 8 degrees, so it's cool. It is cool. Morning and good morning. So I'm on the road to... Oh, I don't know where we're going that way. So you see this, see this here? That is not on Google Maps. That doesn't exist. So that is just from the floods. <laughs> it's inland lake. Look, it's got bloody waves and everything on it. Holy shit. That's a paddock. My God. That'd be a kilometre wide at least. God almighty. There's so much water lying around out here. It's, it's mind blowing. It really is. Oh, that's right, the world's smallest mountain's here. Right, I was just thinking that, I'll have to have a look at that. That's a cool cafe just there. Butcher shop, bottle shop. Oh no, that's a very pub. All these balls are made out of old plow discs. As my son would say. Why? Looks cool. But why? That's it. on the wall, little paints on the wall, <laughs> it's gold, oh, I love it, what the hell, well that was a hard walk that, I am on top of the smallest mountain in the world, a place called Nullawill, on the way to Patchwallick. Well, don't go in there, I'll friggin' drown, but check that out. Geez, that's well done, isn't it? Trink box, all handmade. Muller wink. Oh no, look at that, that is pretty well done. Look at the boots on that, that's good. Oh wow. That little bug thing on the um, bridge, $140. $165 for that plane. I'd probably pay that for that, but that's pretty cool. Wow. Clever, that is just so clever. That's gold, that one. Fifty bucks for the frog, hundred and twenty for that frog there. It's got a wheelbarrow, so that's worth it. Wow, their lawn's pretty cool. Look at that dragon! Look at the work in that! That's all chains! Wow! Wow! Some work in that! Welcome to Sea Lake everyone! And this could be one of the nicest, from a distance, up close, not sure, but could be one of the nicest silo arts I've seen. Look at that, it's bloody definitely bright, that's for sure. Well, they've got a little turn off here for me, that's awesome. 
save me walking because you know I don't like walking too far. Right, let's get off and assess. <clears throat> Well done. And this is Sea Lake. She said, I don't want anybody scribbling on buildings. Look at that one, that's alright. I know that Sea Lake, everyone. Not much going on there, is it? Lake Tyrrell viewing platform we'll go and have a look at. Just the other roadie. Welcome to Lake Tyrrell. Well that's nice in there, isn't it? Put some money into that. Let's go down here and have a look. Well, fairly impressed. That is really big. Really, really big. Oh, there's a viewing platform over there. That's right. I might just walk over there. I'll get off the bike. Yeah. It's a bit soft. Stick to the footpath and I'll be right. Sky Lounge they call this. Wow. That is just monstrous, isn't it? Wow, that's big. Eighteen ninety six, they started. Oh shit! The wind nearly blew my bike over then. Um, Eighteen ninety six, they first started um, commercial salt harvesting from here. There's not too much, there's this big one here. And there's something down there that's very interesting. It's a um, guinea fowl or something she said. It's listed as a big thing. So there you go, there's that one there. That's, uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Yeah probably after a person that lived here or farmed here or something. Mallee fowls, close enough. They're both fowl. The big fowl, eh? That is really super, super cool, that. Eh? I'll come for a walk over here later, actually. Got an old railway station. Yep, I'll go to the pub. And then come back over here for a bit of a squiz. This be Patch Wallick everybody, there's them bird things over there and that's where we're going to stay. Pub doesn't open at 5 o'clock, it says come in, set up and we'll, we'll come and see you. Uh, free camping I'm pretty sure. This is at the back of the old Patch Wallick Hotel. Look at this, in its day this would have been a bloody ripper. Now it's just a friggin' mosquito bloody haven, you know. Rooms. Beautiful old pub. I'm going to show them how it looked after it. Nobody comes through here. We've got showers and pools in there. 